Hi, I'm Melanie, and if this is your first time stopping by, this is my Wednesday series, and it takes place every Wednesday on location at 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time at the Crossroads Country Mall. Crossroads Country Mall is a co-op of over 20 vendors. Every week, I'm spotlighting one of the vendor's booths. I'm giving you a tour of everything that vendor has for sale. I'm also including the vendor's initial because that's the way we're identified at the Crossroads Country Mall. Then after the tour, I'm going to create a beautiful display or vignette only using the pieces that that vendor has for sale. I've created a playlist for this series, so it will be linked below in my description box, along with some other videos of mine that I think you might like. Welcome to the Crossroads Country Mall. It's located in Lima, New York. Today, I'll be spotlighting the vendor booth with the initials RBP. This vendor has four different booths at the Country Mall. For today's video, I'm spotlighting her collections of pottery, Longaburger baskets, brass, beautiful teacups, and textiles. This vendor is currently running a sale on her booths, 20% off and less marked firm.
This bookshelf is the area I'll be decorating today. Bookshelves aren't just for books anymore. They're beautiful pieces of furniture that you can use to display your collectibles and create beautiful vignettes. Accent lighting is a key element of mine when decorating. Visual interest is important. This spatterware plate definitely catches the eye and it's fair priced at $15. When decorating, I like the look of layered plates. Brown and pink colors complement each other perfectly. The look is warm and inviting. The spode plate is priced at $8.50. This vendor offers pottery collections from the Wizard of Clay, Bill Campbell, and Salmon Falls. If you use pottery when decorating, you are adding a beautiful piece of art. Not only is it functional, it adds texture, color, shape, and visual interest. And it also makes a great conversation piece. This bowl from the Wizard of Clay is priced at $50. If you're thinking about starting a pottery collection, country malls and antique shops are the best places to start your search because then you're not gonna pay full price. This Salmon Falls crock is priced at $35. When decorating with pottery, don't be afraid to mix and match collections. I always incorporate color with my decorating. It's just my personal preference. And this maroon colored pitcher is a perfect punch of color. Photos are a great way to give your decorating a personal touch. They're also visually interesting and a great conversation starter. If you don't wanna display family photos, you can always display pictures of animals, flowers, landscapes, or maybe somewhere you visited. Books make great risers. They also add visual interest, texture, and color. Books also work great as a filler. Try stacking a few books and place a faux plant on top. I think you'll like the look. Baskets are collectible and functional. You can find baskets in all shapes, colors, and sizes. If you're looking for storage solutions, baskets are the great way to go. Think outside the box the next time you buy a basket. Think about what you can store in it. This little basket that I believe is really intended for recipes would work great for holding photos. It's fair priced at $8.50. Potpourri holders are not only decorative, but they help to make our home smell pretty. These would work great in any room of your home. It would even make a great closet sash. If you want to add some flair to your decorating, try adding something made of brass. This is a Cricut box. It's very unique and priced fair at $6. It's solid brass and made in India. Textiles are great ways to add color and texture. Think outside the box when using textiles. Maybe you have a piece of furniture that you'd like to use in a different room of your home, but you're afraid that the pattern on the fabric won't match. Try covering it with a beautiful quilt or blanket. This is a beautiful pashmina, priced fair at $20, and it also has the colors brown and pink that I chose earlier in my selections. It's gonna work perfect in this display today. Antlers are actually wonderful pieces to incorporate with your decorating. This vendor has a couple different pair, and this is a gorgeous pair, fair priced at $20. This abalone box is fair priced at $10 and it's very eye catching. I can envision if this was my abalone box, I would tilt the lid and I would tuck a few beautiful cloth hankies and a string of pearls just peeking over the edge. I think that would be a beautiful little display. When decorating with pictures and art, think of other ways that you could display it instead of just hanging it on a wall. This picture is priced at $30. This is a nice little chair and it's priced at $35. 
as you can see, I've mixed collections, colors, and patterns. By layering these plates, I'm drawing the eye forward. That's my focal point. And I placed a picture on each side, so that will also draw the attention to those pictures. The candles add a nice ambiance, but I wanna add that if you were actually recreating this look in your home, you wouldn't want to use wax candles on a shelf because of the risk of fire, but you can still achieve this look by using the battery operated candles. The books I'm using as a riser, but also for texture and visual interest. You could always add filler to the bowl. The antlers and abalone box are perfectly paired together. I placed the baskets on the bottom of the shelf so they could be easily accessed for storage. Here I'm giving you an example of how you can cover furniture with a textile and I also used the chair as an easel to display the beautiful picture. Both pieces complement the items on the bookshelf perfectly. I'd like to thank the owner of the Crossroads Country Mall and the vendor of this booth for allowing me to create this video for you today. Thanks for watching.